A day at the beach is one of life's greatest joys. Catching a tan and swimming in the ocean, building a sandcastle and playing beach volleyball. These are all ingredients for a perfect day out. But sometimes the beach can be a mysterious and even sinister place. If you live by a beach, you just might know that there are mysteries that the seaside can hide. From mysterious substances invading the shore to giant objects that defy all explanation. These are the 20 strangest things washed up on beaches. Mutant Sea Creature Things are getting wild near an airport on a Russian island. Here's a creature around 2 meters long with a tail stretching 3 to 5 meters, covered in fur and sporting some seriously peculiar paws or feet? Weird, right? Initially, experts thought it might be a dolphin, but then it took a hair-raising twist. Marine biologists spotted what looked like a dolphin's snout, but upon closer inspection, they found a whopping 70-centimeter jaw with gnarly teeth. Not exactly your average flipper. The critters got folks all over the globe scratching their heads. Some are even tossing around the idea of a prehistoric woolly mammoth, while others are suggesting giant beaked whales. Now, those whales are usually the introverted types, chilling in the chilly depths of the northern Pacific Ocean, so sightings are rarer than a four-leaf clover. Is it a long-lost cousin of the Loch Ness monster, Nessie? A mammoth making a grand return? Or just a misunderstood whale with an epic beard? The plot thickens. Giant Pipes These gigantic, mysterious pipes were washed up on the coast of Norfolk, UK. They may look like the inner workings of a humongous spaceship, but they are actually sections of pipe that came loose from a Norwegian tugboat that was bound for Algeria. Yes, it might be slightly crazy to think that you could lose a piece of pipe this big, but accidents do happen. Walkers on the beach were left flabbergasted at the sight of those gigantic, mysterious tubes. These 1,500 foot long pipes are even taller than most skyscrapers. At 8 feet wide, they are even big enough to walk through. Pipeline, the Norwegian company which manufactured the pipes, warned British beachgoers to stay well away from these huge industrial pipes, warning they risked being crushed under their weight. Yikes. Enormous Driftwood This is some seriously massive driftwood. When this gigantic tree trunk washed up onto the shores of La Push, a small town on the northwest coast of Washington, local residents couldn't believe their eyes. Known as a drift log, this enormous hunk of wood was carried across the waves by powerful winds combined with extremely high tides. At 200 feet long, this cedar tree has to be one of the largest pieces of driftwood we've ever seen. This mammoth tree trunk, along with dozens of others, are believed to have made their way to La Push from the Olympic National Park after a particularly severe storm. Many people have been taking selfies next to this gigantic tree just to show the sheer size of the thing. This really takes driftwood to the next level. Gift from the Ocean Thousands of toy containers from Kinder Eggs decided to ride the waves and crash onto the sandy shores of Germany creating a scene that's straight out of a technicolor dream. As you can imagine, both locals and tourists are losing it over this spectacle. The official police account for Lower Saxony even posted about this epic occurrence on Twitter. Yep, even the cops are baffled. So how did these Kinder Egg toy containers end up on the shores of Langeog? Brace yourselves for a wild ride. It's believed they were part of the cargo that took a dive from a ship cruising from China to Germany. These adventurous toy-filled eggs took an unexpected detour through the vast seas, only to make a dazzling debut on the island's coastline. And get this, some of the plastic eggs even had pieces of paper with Russian writing on them. This beach mystery just keeps getting more and more mind-boggling. This many jellyfish. Well, hold on to your beach towels because Crimea's coastline is turning into a jellyfish jamboree. Waves upon waves of these gelatinous creatures have been swarming the shores near a village. What used to be a hotspot for sun seekers now plays host to a squishy invasion. And it's all thanks to the rising mercury, courtesy of climate change. The warmer temps lead to saltier seas and guess who throws a party in salt water? Yep, you guessed it, jellyfish. Now, don't worry too much. 
These Azov sea jellyfish aren't out to kill you, but they've got a little sting in their step. Moscow tourists report a sticky, icky encounter, a cold gel-like touch that's anything but pleasant. Understandably, the once bustling beaches in the area are now resembling ghost towns. It's a real-life jellyfish takeover, and it seems like they're here to stay. Beachgoers beware. Mystery Object on July 16, 2023, in the tranquil town of Greenhead, Western Australia, a couple stumbled upon a mystery that set the world abuzz. Known for its wildflowers and pristine shores, this place has now become the epicenter of an international enigma. Theories are flying on the internet, from a stray ship part to a relic from the infamous Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappearance in 2014. This hefty hunk of mystery is now tucked away in a super secure storage facility, awaiting its turn under the spotlight. The Australian Space Agency chimed in, hinting at possible extraterrestrial origins. Reaching out to global counterparts for intel, according to European Space Agency whiz Andrea Boyd, this enigma might just be a chunk of an Indian rocket engine, potentially dating back two decades. You see, rocket launches sometimes fizzle out and take a dive into the ocean. The thing is, there's a whole heap of regulations around cleaning up this cosmic clutter. But not every nation is holding up their end of the bargain. It's like a celestial game of cleanup on aisle 7, and it's clear not everyone's playing by the rules. So, while the skies are full of wonder, they're also packed with a lot of unregulated surprises. Just like this hunk of space junk. Hundreds of fish. Don't be alarmed if you stumble upon a fishy spectacle at Higgins Point on Lake Coeur d'Alene. It might look like a seafood graveyard, but according to Idaho Fish and Game, it's just Mother Nature doing her thing. These fish, known as kokani, go out with a bang after their three or four year run. And that's par for the course. And it seems like the kokane population is throwing a party like never before in Lake Coeur d'Alene. Numbers are through the roof, and it's a feast for any angler. When there's an abundance, these fish tend to be on the smaller side. But hey, for our feathered friends like eagles and seagulls, it's a smorgasbord. And don't worry about any health concerns. The fish and game folks assure it's all part of a natural, lake-friendly cycle. These kokane are like Mother Nature's little recycling squad, decomposing and nourishing the lake in one fell swoop. So, while it might be a bit of a fishy affair, it's all for the greater good of the Lake Coeur d'Alene. Pretty fascinating stuff. Nature, the ultimate recycling bin. Message in a bottle. Talk about a beachside surprise. At Sand on the Beach restaurant in Melbourne Beach, a tourist from the Garden State stumbled upon a real treasure, a message in a bottle. Haley Phelps, who was on the clock at the time, described the excitement that followed. The letter was penned in Spanish, and it turned out to be a heartfelt prayer to Yamaya, the ocean goddess and guardian of women. The author poured her heart out, asking for protection for her mother and the house of her dreams. And to top it off, a sweet sign-off, love your daughter. In all her 25 years by Melbourne Beach, Phelps confessed she'd never witnessed such a find. They're even planning on framing it, turning it into a cherished keepsake at the restaurant. As you can imagine, the whole Melbourne community caught the buzz about this discovery. So keep your eyes peeled on that shore, you never know what might wash up next. Football Fish This mysterious sea monster washed up on the beach of Crystal Cove State Park in California, causing many marine biologists to scratch their heads. The giant Pacific football fish lives a whopping 3,000 feet deep below the waves and rarely ever makes its way to the surface of the ocean. Yup, this is one mysterious fish. A member of the anglerfish family, this massive round fish has razor-sharp teeth and a glowing bioluminescent appendage on its head that it uses to lure in its prey in the pitch-black darkness. Yup, this is one freaky fish. So, what was it doing on the beach in California for the first time in human history? Well, wildlife experts reckon that it may have been injured and floated up to the surface to die. What a strange beach find indeed. World War II era plane. In South Pont Verde Beach, an intriguing discovery has sparked quite a buzz. A metal structure, believed to be the tail end of a World War II era fighter plane, surfaced after a nor'easter storm kicked up the seabed. Twitter, now X, went wild with speculations. 
But Chuck Mead, the director of the Lighthouse Maritime Archaeological Program, or LAMP, LAMP, has taken charge of this historical find. They suspect it might be a piece of the Crummin F-4F Wildcat, a U.S. Navy fighter plane from World War II. The U.S. Navy is the rightful owner of this aircraft, and they've given LAMP the green light to house it temporarily. Now, to ensure the metal stays in tip-top shape, it's getting a unique treatment. It'll be stored underwater to shield it from the corrosive effects of exposure to air. You see, when something's been chilling in salt water for about 75 years, salt can do a number on it once it meets the open air. So, for now, this piece of history is getting the VIP treatment until they figure out exactly where it came from. And now it's time for our open discussion. What they found on this beach shocked the world. Yes, we're talking about this insane image that has been going viral across social media. Is it a whale? A mutated dolphin? Or even a legendary kraken? Marine biologists are stumped and so are we. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below to share your thoughts. World War II Bunker A coastal city in India is unveiling even more secrets of its past. This city has been a pivotal hub for trade and transport along the Indian coastline for centuries. And let us tell you, it's not short on maritime mysteries. Over time, a number of ships and historic bunkers have found their way to Vazaga's shores, emerging from the depths after decades lost at sea. In the latest episode of this historical saga, a World War II era bunker made its grand entrance near the Pandurangaanga Swami Temple. Now, if you're a history buff, you'll be thrilled to know that these bunkers are scattered like hidden treasures between Yerada and Bimili. It's like a living museum of wartime relics right on the coast. People flocked to the beach eager to witness this World War II relic, and they weren't disappointed. These bunkers, crafted centuries ago, are now resurfacing thanks to the ever-changing weather patterns. Back in the day, during the thick of World War II, these very bunkers stood guard along the shore, a fortification by the British against potential invasion by Japan. Yep, the sands of the shore hold secrets that are determined to reveal themselves to the world. What other secrets could it be hiding? Let us know what you think in the comments below. A live shark egg. We've got a real life underwater marvel right here. Carissa Otero, on a quest for mermaid's purses, had a jaw-dropping find while beachcombing with her two-year-old son, Bodhi, in California. What she stumbled upon was nothing short of astonishing. An unhatched baby swell shark, still snug in its case and very much alive. This little marvel had been stranded on the beach due to a recent bout of high tide. In the footage, you can see the tiny shark-to-be wriggling about its inside the sack, its stock still tethered to its yolk for a nutritional boost. Swell sharks, it turns out, are clever parents. They lay rubbery egg cases with wiry tendrils at the corners that anchor them to rocks and seaweed, ensuring they don't wash ashore. Carissa, moved by the tiny warrior struggle, didn't stop at just capturing this incredible moment. She took action. Waist deep in the sea, she released the little one, giving it a fighting chance when it eventually hatched. Now, that's a heartwarming tale of a nature-loving kindness. Sharks need love too, people. Stranded killer whales. Killer whales are truly awe-inspiring creatures, and it's heartening to see people going above and beyond to safeguard their lives. The town of La Caleta witnessed a real-life marine drama when seven killer whales made an unexpected pit stop on the shore. The locals, fueled by determination, sprang into action turning the beach into a hive of activity as they collaborated to guide the whales back to the waves using ropes. It's nothing short of miraculous. These orcas, often mistaken for whales but actually close cousins to dolphins, are some of the brightest sparks in the animal kingdom. They've got a complex language of clicks, whistles, and pulsed calls, and get this, they can even mimic each other, pass down skills to their young, and even tease humans. Talk about intelligence. These top-tier predators can reach lengths of up to 30 feet and live for as long as 90 years, roaming everywhere from the Arctic to tropical waters. Sadly, some populations face dire threats due to human interference, from dwindling prey to habitat loss and marine pollution. 
We humans sure do like to ruin things, don't we? Luckily, the folks in La Caleta joined forces and managed to save six of these magnificent creatures, guiding them back to the safety of the sea. And just to make sure they didn't take a detour back to shore, a maritime authority ship stood guard. It just goes to show what we can achieve when we come together for our ocean-dwelling friends. Giant Snowballs In the middle of a beach in Siberia, a strange natural phenomenon got everyone talking. These crazy snowballs had appeared out of nowhere, shocking all the locals in Nida, a village on the Yamal Peninsula. This unusual beach located just above the Arctic Circle became the home of thousands of perfectly spherical snowballs, ranging in size from a couple of inches to nearly three feet across. Villagers were absolutely baffled when they stumbled across these massive frozen orbs and told reporters that they had never seen anything like this before in their hometown. So, where did the Siberian snowballs come from? Well, they first popped up in October when the slush frozen water rose, coating the shore in a layer of ice. As the tides went out, the waves and the wind rolled the ice along the beach, forming the strange ice balls in all shapes and sizes. Damn nature, you crazy. Mysterious tar balls. It's a sticky situation at Manhattan Beach near Los Angeles. Mysterious tar balls and tar patties have washed ashore, leading to beach closures and a flurry of questions about their connection to the recent spill in Santa Barbara County. The US Coast Guard, taking charge of the cleanup, reports that roughly six and a half miles of beachfront have been affected. Wow. Cleanup crews donned in their white suits and gloves have rushed down to the beach to collect these troublesome tar balls carefully depositing them in plastic bags. Yep, believe it or not, a whopping 50 crews tackled the beach. It's a massive undertaking as teams collaborate with city and federal agencies, collecting samples of both the water and the substance to trace the source. But what are these tar balls anyway? Well, it could be a natural seep, ships at anchor or in transit or even a refinery. So far, a whopping 30 cubic feet of tar have found their way into the dumpster. It's a race against time to clear the coast and uncover the truth behind this sticky situation. U-118 Submarine It's time for a piece of wartime history that washed ashore in a most unexpected fashion. After the conclusion of World War I, the German Navy faced surrender, and a portion of its ships found themselves interred at the Royal Navy's base in Scapa Flow nestled in the Orkney Islands just north of the Scottish mainland. But one German submarine, the U-118, had a different fate in store. The plan was to tow the U-118 to France to meet her end in the scrapyard. However, the whims of Mother Nature had other ideas. In the midst of this journey, a fierce gale roared in, snapping the tow cable, and lo and behold, the U-118 found herself beached on Hastings Beach right in front of the town's most prestigious hotels. This mammoth submarine, akin to a colossal beached whale, stranded in the most dramatic fashion. Thousands flocked to get a glimpse of this unexpected guest, and from an aerial view, its true size became even more apparent. Despite valiant efforts, including those by a French destroyer, the U-118 remained aground. Attempts to drag it back to the sea with these tractors proved futile, but as the novelty wore off, a decision was made to dismantle the U-118 and sell it for scrap. By December 1919, the U-118 had largely disappeared, leaving behind a remarkable tale of submarines' unexpected visit to the shores of Hastings. How crazy is that? Civil War Cannonballs Folly Beach in South Carolina just served up a dose of history right alongside the waves. Beachgoers stumbled upon not one, but two Civil War-era cannonballs, unearthed by Hurricane Dorian and resting in the sand. After reporting the find, a full squad consisting of police, fire, and local explosive ordnance disposal teams rushed in. They carefully examined the relics, ensuring they weren't still alive and posing any danger. Aaron Letton and his girlfriend, who recently moved to the area, were the lucky duo to make this remarkable discovery. Overlooking the Morris Island Lighthouse, they spotted the cannonballs off East Ashley Avenue on a Friday night. It turns out they had a hunch something historic might have washed up after the hurricane, and they were spot on. But this isn't the first time Civil War cannonballs have made a surprise appearance on Folly Beach. 
back in 2016 following Hurricane Matthew. A whopping 16 cannonballs from that era were found in the same spot. It seems like Folly Beach has a knack for unearthing its own buried treasures whenever a hurricane comes to call. Mysterious Sphere Over in Enshu Beach, Japan, things got seriously weird when a local woman stumbled upon this massive ball-like object made of solid metal. The beach went on lockdown, leaving beachgoers and officials scratching their heads. This thing's a whopper, measuring 1.5 meters in diameter, with a rusty exterior giving off major iron vibes. But here's the kicker. It's got these odd handle-like thingamajigs sticking out, like it was meant to latch onto something. Mysterious, right? A squad of bomb experts decked out in full protective gear huddled around this enigmatic ball in a secure 200 meter zone. They've been meticulously scanning and probing, and guess what? X-rays revealed it's hollow, ruling out any explosive dangers. But the big question remains, what in the world is this thing? In a bid to crack the case, images of this giant metal enigma have been dispatched to both the Japanese armed forces and the Coast Guard for some serious sleuthing. Will they unravel its origin and purpose? We'll have to sit tight and see. This is a mystery that's just getting started. Giant Metal Die it seems like the dice have rolled onto the shores of Curadalen, Idaho. And what a weird sight it was. This colossal, rusty-looking die standing at a whopping 6 feet by 6 feet washed up on the lake shore. One side even had some pips coming out of it, and the dots were surprisingly pristine white. But the mystery didn't last long. City workers swiftly moved in to remove this strange die from the scene. News station KREM did some digging and unveiled the family behind the dicey decorations. Turns out the tank, which is what it originally was, had stranded on Driftwood Point back in 2008. The Gridley family, who own a sign shop in Spokane, decided to jazz it up. Chris Gridley crafted those dots to turn it into a giant die. And their in-law's house gained fame as Dice Beach. This unique addition stayed on Dice Beach for a solid five years until the rising waters decided it was time to set the die rolling again. A quirky tale for a quirky object. Seafoam Chennai's Marina Beach is putting on quite the show, and it's not one you'd want to be part of. For four days straight, this iconic beach has been blanketed in a sinister white foam, presenting new pollution hazards for the region. Now, despite the disgusting odor and warnings from doctors about potential skin issues, you'll find kids playing and snapping selfies in these frothy clouds. Fishermen, however, have received the memo loud and clear, stay away from the sea. It's a grim situation. As for this foam, it's a regular guest during monsoon season, and it seems to be throwing an even wider party this year. The Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board is on the case, analyzing samples from the froth that's stretching for kilometers along the coast. In 2017, a similar incident led to the tragic loss of thousands of fish due to pollution. The blame lies partly with the heavy rains that washed untreated sewage and phosphate into the sea. According to a local scientist, a significant chunk of this froth is a result of detergent residue mingling with other waste. Sadly, only 40% of sewage in Chennai and other major cities receives proper treatment. The rest? Well, it's making quite the splash and not in a good way.